Plank, you know, based here in Ann Arbor, Michigan, started back in 2016 dominating the financial services industry. Um, you know, we quickly realized that our tech is industry agnostic. We've already brought on customers like Ishbank, the largest bank in Turkey, um, USAA, um, which is you know, a company that has prided itself on the customer experience for decades. Um, but I've also um, and been working with uh, the top three money center banks here in the U.S. and the top two uh, brokerage firms as well. So we're doing quite well in financial services with some very large financial institutions. We're excited to say that we're launching in the quick service restaurant industry as well, which is primarily the fast food um, restaurants, um, helping them elevate the drive through experience, the in-store kiosk experience, as well as driving you know, new sales and up sales in the mobile app as well. There are no other companies in the space that are creating a drive-through specific um, QSR AI experience and the reason for that is because it's extremely difficult to um, create a conversational experience um, that is successful. The way someone orders a sandwich could vary exponentially, right? There's so many different ways that you could place an order and you're giving the system a lot of different pieces of information at once. So it's an incredibly challenging um, AI problem. The approach that Clink is taking that is able to make this work is decoupling the dialogue management from the response logic, which means that we're able to take all of the information at once, remember all of the context, maintain um, the things that were said previously in the interaction with the AI, and then we don't have to have a response for each part of the conversation. Um, we can have one response at the end that captures all of that information. So I'm going to demo our QSR experience. This is uh, an experience that you would engage with in the drive through So it's a conversational AI that um, a human would speak to, and then the AI would handle the user's uh, food order request, um, and then that would be sent straight to the window and the, the user could pay. Hey, can I get a double cheeseburger with no tomato and extra onion, a side salad, and a mango smoothie? Okay, you want to order a double cheeseburger with no tomatoes, extra onion, a side salad, and a mango pineapple smoothie. Would you like anything else or are you ready for checkout? Can you take the side salad off the order and add cheese to the burger? Okay, I've removed a side salad with added cheese and a hamburger from your order. Would you like anything else or are you ready for checkout? Uh, can you actually add an order of small fries to the order as well? Okay, I've added some small fries to your order. Would you like anything else or are you ready for checkout? Uh, that's it, thanks. In terms of an enterprise integrating the system, it really depends on whether they want on-premise or a cloud-based deployment. If we're deploying via the cloud, um, we can do that in a matter of days, but if it's um, actually implementing this on-premise at each loca store location, that's going to take a little bit longer. We're really agile and, and we're flexible to work within whatever constraints um, our, partners, our partners need from us, and so it's really on their end how quickly they can get um, their system up and running.